Hey peeps, Tyler here. I wanted to make a video about pressure, which I know I've talked about before, but I wanted to talk a little bit more about it because stuff happens and there's multiple kinds of pressure that I want to talk about, like to read certain books. There's the pressure to read popular books. There's the pressure to read whatever is considered relevant books. There's the pressure to read classics. There's the pressure to read diversely. And I want to mention I do care about reading diversely. And I will continue that and hopefully get better. I've been caring about reading diversely for years. I'm queer, I'm disabled, and I want to learn about other people as well and all that but there's just all these pressures to like read certain things and meet quotas and or at least it seems that way <gasps> then as well as to keep up with all the videos and subscribe to hundreds of people if you keep up with all the videos of that many people it's like you don't have time to do anything else and then to keep up with all the drama, to keep up with all the news. And when it comes to news, I do think it's important to know what's going on in the world and to not be oblivious. And like, if you can, to obviously know what's going on. But at the same time, it can be, especially in 2020, extremely overwhelming to try to keep up with literally everything. Like, that's also not healthy. There's a difference between... It's, I don't think it's good to not know what's going on at all, but I also don't think it's good to overwhelm yourself and stress yourself out and be nothing but a ball of an anxiety and try to keep up with literally everything because that that's also not good. Like there needs to be some sort of balance. I hope I'm saying it right. I don't know that I am, but my point is you also have to take care of yourself and like you're human. Like, we're all just one person. We can only do so much. As well as to keep up with social media, which for Twitter is a losing battle. And also, Twitter tends to be a hellfire. <gasps> to comment on literally everything, which is why a while ago I had started doing, like, putting hearts on most of the videos that I watched. Because I understand it's nice to see the comments. Like, I make videos, I really do understand, like, any little comment is very much appreciated. Sometimes you just don't have the energy to comment on literally everything if you're watching a lot of videos. And just all these pressures get to making you feel making me feel like I'm drowning. <gasps> and of course there's the pressure to read so many books, which I'm not quite sure where that comes from. But and I'm into many things and I miss my other hobbies that since I started reading, I've just abandoned. So there's all these pressures and I have to remember that I'm one person. I'm one person. I have to remember that. I have to take care of myself. I also... So I have to tell myself certain things. One, I don't need to read. At all. I want to read. I'm going to continue reading. But I don't need to read. There's a difference. There are people who don't read. And it like there's other hobbies. There's other ways to learn things to whatever. It's like other hobbies aren't lesser than reading. Other ways of learning, like videos or articles online or whatever, aren't lesser. Though for some reason they're seen as such. I'm sorry if you can hear background noise. I don't need to keep up. Like, besides the world being on fire, like many other people, there's also a whole bunch of personal shit that... I can't share everything 
nor should I feel like I need to share as much as possible. And some stuff I just can't. There's a whole bunch of personal shit going on in my life as well. And... That's another thing. You don't know what somebody's going through in their real life. You don't know. So I have to remember that I don't need to keep up with anything. What I need to do is take care of myself. Do the best I can. Take care of my pets. Those are the things I need to do. <gasps> and I feel like I've lost my way. Like if I never read another book, that would be fine. I know that's not going to happen because there's a whole bunch of books I actually want to read. But you get what I'm saying, hopefully. And as if I find my way back to my other hobbies and whatnot, I'll talk about them too. I mean, all my videos will be will have titles that you'll know what I'm talking about. So if you want to stay subscribed but don't care about every little thing, you can just not watch the videos you don't care about. And yeah, that's, I think, everything I wanted to say. Comment any of your thoughts down below. And just, yeah, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell if you want to. Thank you for watching. My social media is in the description and have a nice day.